What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the Eheng Podcast and today will be another Asking Sean segment. Uh, we will read an email from Calvin Yong via email. A pretty long one. Let's go. Dear Eheng, first of all, I want to thank you for all the materials being uploaded to YouTube. I've been learning so much from you and I thoroughly enjoy each and every single one of it. I own a landed house in Banda Damai Perdana, Cheras, which was the developer Mahajaya. Collected the keys to my unit end of 2011-2012. Uh, Recently, I noticed there are a lot of cracks everywhere in the unit. It's not big cracks, but I'm very worried since the cracks appears in so many areas, from the living room to staircase to bedroom. Is it usually that case for a landed home to have this kind of problem? I know it has been many years by now, but I remember I read somewhere in iProperty Portal that buyers can claim for repair warranty within 15 years of VP. My questions which I need your expert advice on. Number one, is it true that we are covered under the 15 years rule? May I know what is this rule being called under the HDA? Number two, how to go about getting in Mahajaya to repair the cracks? What is the usual methods that they use to fix any cracks? Does it just involve paintings only? Sorry for so many questions. <laughs> it's okay. But I'm very worried about these cracks and I hope that you can guide me on this. Many thanks. Stay safe. Regards, Calvin. So first of all, thank you very much for your email. And just to sum it up, right? Uh, it's an 8 years old landed project in Cheras. And you're thinking on how to maintain it. Can the developer still help you with the maintenance? Right, on the cracking and things like that. Okay. So the first thing, right, in any SPA, that term is called DLP, Defect Liability Period. It means that when the developer completes the unit and passes the keys to you, from that day onwards, how many months is the warranty period for the house that the developer built? Uh, in the norm, it's 24 months, 36 months. Right, but all these are actually cost for the developer, so the developer will try not to provide that long one. And this applies to the original condition of the property. And this usually applies to landed uh, individual title houses. La. So it means that let's say when I pass the house to you, uh, you suddenly want to renovate your house, you extend your kitchen la, or you extend the front porch, la, you demolish one of the columns so you can actually extend out your car porch la, and things like that, right? Then suddenly when you find out you got cracks in the house, right? You ask them to come in, they will not fix for you because it's actually done by you. So that's condition number one, whatever external works that you have do to the structure, right? Your warranty will be void. Number two on the period, right? 24 to 36 months, it's uh, the norm actually. So when you save 15 years, it's quite impossible uh, actually. But I do hear stories like uh, Banda Utama, right? Si Hoi Chan actually provides lifetime warranty to all the residents and all the buyers of Banda Utama. And so there has been stories like that. I'm not very sure. It's like a legend or myth like that. Uh. Then number three, your cracks, right? The cracks can be caused by many things. So it can be very serious, it can be very minor. Serious means that uh, the earth settlement. So for example, now your house sits on the land, right? And during construction 10 years ago, the land underneath, right, was actually flat and solid. So it also depends on what kind of foundation system that your landed house is on. Is it like the slab system or is it micro piles or etc. Then across the years, there might be water body underground and that causes some movement underground and they will cause settlement of your ground level. This ground floor level, right, will affect whatever foundation. And suddenly, like for example, if this foundation is a slab, then suddenly here, the underground soil is actually empty then it will cause the thing to crack. This happens usually to car porch areas, lah, right? The whole entire car porch actually collapse. Or even by MMs, because it's all concrete, right? By MMs, right, you will see cracks, especially at the joints area. It means like the joint between the column and the beam, right? The joints are always the weakest part. So structural elements crack uh, can be rather serious. On the other side, you have minor cracks. Minor cracks can be due to workmanship. Uh, for example, the after you have uh, columns, right? Then you want to put brick walls as partition. Always a brick wall and the concrete column will have cracks right? because they are two elements. So in construction, right, the joint of two different materials are the hardest to do. By right SOP, you need to put a fish tail, you put four to five rows of brick, then you need to put the chicken mesh before you actually put up your mortar, your plaster, your skim coat, your paint. 
right? A lot of things. And that also applies to the brick wall. So in a brick wall, conventional brick wall construction system, a lot of things can be variable. Number one, the types of brick. Is it the red brick type or the cement sand brick type? Because the absorption rate of water and moisture right, is actually different. So after you build up the brick ready, then you need to cover with plaster. And if the plaster moisture content is not as high enough, right, it will fall. But if it's too high, then it will affect the outer layer. Then after the plaster, you have the skim coat, then you have the primer paint, then only you have three layers of whatever color paint that you choose. So your plaster layer right, is too little, the water content, right? And the brick wall is actually absorbing a lot of those kind of moisture then it will crack. Lor. Then if your location is actually located to very high traffic areas, for example, the bridge or a lot of heavy vehicles that actually goes past by your area, right? That also will somewhat cause a certain level of vibration to your building structure and that might also cause some cracks. Lor. So that's the three things that I think addresses your question. So Kelvin, in conclusion, 15 years, I don't think so. Lah. It's max 24 or 36 months. But number two, uh, what's the condition of the house? Is it the original condition that you didn't do any extension, didn't do any partition or hacking at all? Then maybe you got chance if the developer choose to invest in their brand. For example, if you ask like bigger brands, public listed brands, right? I think they will somewhat still give you that service. But there will be like some charges, like minimum charges and things like that because they want to protect their brand. This is also the main difference of buying from a branded developer and a Chekai not so branded developer. Lah. And then the cracks, right, can be very serious structural problems or defects or underground soil movement conditions. Or it can be just like the weather is too hot, then the moisture content actually lose out. So your plaster starts to crack. If you're really not sure, right, uh, I would suggest you to get in a contractor to actually inspect. Don't need to do anything first, just inspect what's the condition of the house. But generally, our structural engineers in Malaysia, the safety factor, it means that let's say I will need a factor, I will need a number, let's say 100, to make sure like this building is confirmed safe, right? Structural engineers have this safety factor of like 4 or 5 or 6, and it depends on whether how much risk the, the engineer wants to take. Lah. And our safety factor for Malaysia and structural engineers, right, is pretty high, so have no worries like it's mainly workmanship like, like the paint they didn't wait long enough or the plaster the mixture is wrong and things like that like. so again thank you very much kelvin for the question and i think this question will help a lot of uh, house owners as well for those who have any further questions about real estate do just email me at t-a-n-i-h-e-r-n-g t-a-n-i-h-e-r-n-g at gmail.com or you can just beat me at i-h-e-r-n-g at multiple social platforms and with that i will see you guys on the next one thanks for watching ciao